Gentlemen and ladies, I got something I want to tell y'all, and I need for you all to pay attention because some of you, and I said a lot of you, I said many of you, simply don't get it. You don't see the genius in the information. You don't see that nobody has ever done anything like this. Y'all hold on a second. Got something I want to play for you. I never seen nothing like this. Y'all ain't never, never seen, seen nothing, seen nothing like, like this. this. Four hundred billion dollars in credits. Four hundred billion credits times and it's time every respondent adverse possession your property tax credits driver's licenses property associated birth certificates court cases y'all ain't never seen nothing like this mm -hmm. let's say the court throws the cases out we 1099C these ignorant mothers. You know what I'm saying? Oh, we definitely got to appeal. Let's see. They tell us you can't do that. You can't do that. What you doing? You can't do that. You know we're gonna 1099C them. We go 1099C 400 million times. Every defendant. Even with the mega and micro trust, we 1099C and go after the credit, people. We do adverse possession on our driver's licenses, on our certificate. a lawsuit for 400. Let me tell you. Allowing people to join the suit by following a simple letter. Everybody will get to join this suit. Like this. We're going to create a letter. So that you can be a part of the four hundred billion dollar lawsuit. And then allowing the data company to do the credits and calculations. Hey y'all. You ain't never seen anything like this. Okay? I just want y'all to understand what we're doing. Now, he's gonna be playing in our background, ladies and gentlemen. I gotta get on with the getting on because we have a conversation that we need to have. And you know what? I can't take the chance because I haven't done it this way before. We're going to come with that at the end. Okay? We're going to come with that at the end. But let me, let, me, let, me, let, let, let me explain something to all of you. This particular video is going to be used in court. They're going to use this video to try to say that this was a game. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not a game. These idiots just reported over four hundred billion dollars. You're not you're not hearing me. June first, the day of the filing of the case. Well, the case was filed today, the fifth of June. And I'm said I said June first, June fifth, which is the anniversary of my father's death. So this is not a joke for me. The case was just filed in the D.C. District Court today. You guys will be notified soon. We'll be creating a letter for those of you who did not get a chance to have your document filed on the record. We will be creating a letter for every last one of you to send to the court. It will be you telling the court that you are part of this suit because you are a member of the disenfranchised American civilian population who has had either a loan, whether it be a car loan, a student loan, or a home loan, interfered with, or a promissory note, or a bill of exchange ignored by the defendants in violation of the contract, and you're suing them for breach of contract, breach of trust, breach of fiduciary duty of care. We will be creating that document for you to fill out. Do not change the words. Do not add to it. Anybody who adds to it will automatically have you removed. This is not your suit. Don't add all of that junk. 
this is not this is not that type of case. Okay. You see, in order for you to be part of this suit, you will follow our rules, not yours. Go file your own lawsuit. I paid for this. This is all me. Let me say that again so that you understand with the aid of Jehovah. This is all me. I didn't get your input. I didn't ask your mama if it was okay. So don't add your junk because you are not going to interfere and mess it up for everybody else. Now, I know, I know some of you are not going to listen because some of you are hard-headed. So guess what? That's why we're making it clear as part of the suit. If you step outside that, you step outside these parameters, then you won't be a part of this. But it doesn't matter what the judge says. This is our suit. This is not yours. You don't control this. I do. That's why it was written the way it was written. We're not going to let anybody come in here and hijack. Y'all, especially those of you who think you know more than I do. If you know more than I do, then go file your own lawsuit. Go do your own $400 billion lawsuit. Okay, let's see how far you go. I've already told you, the courts are going to kick this out. Like I said, we're going to appeal. But we're not just appealing anywhere. This is going before the Supreme Court, whether they want it to go before the Supreme Court or not. And I don't care if I have to bring it all the way back down to the state level to bring it all the way back to the Supreme Court. And I'll keep going back to the Supreme Court until I get tired. And you guys know me, seven days a week. I don't get tired. That's what's keeping me going, is stupid stuff like them challenging me. We're doing a Seventh Amendment complaint under the common law, as identified by the Seventh Amendment. Doesn't care if the courts say that there is no federal common law, there is a national common law. Pay attention. They were right. There is no federal common law because the Constitution does not recognize a federal government. Go back and take a look. There's nothing in the Constitution about some stupid federal government. The government of the United States has always been the people, and nobody's paid attention to that since the day it was written. It tells you it's a constitution for the people, by the people, of the people. This is a people thing. Anyway, we don't have time to be discussing all that. Those are the details, and I don't want to get into all of that. I don't want to get into any conversation with anybody, philosophical or otherwise. What I want you guys to understand is when you get the lawsuit, and everybody who will be signing up, you'll receive a copy of the lawsuit. You don't have to send the whole thing to the court. They already have a copy. All you have to do is let them know that you're part of the group listed as such and such. That's it. That's all you have to do. We'll create the letter for you. We'll give you the case number. The letter will already be put together. All you got to do is sign it. That's it. And then guess what you get to do? $400 billion per defendant. There are almost 100 different defendants, ladies and gentlemen, that I got to serve every single one of them. Certified mail. Every single one of them. All of our clients, you're automatically included. We're just going to send you the letter for you to send to the court. Regular mail. You're just going to send it to the court, be part of this case. We would, we would rather you have proof that you sent it, so ask for a metered stamp and just keep the receipt. Have the clerks, uh, the, the clerks at the post office put a metered stamp on the envelope. Well, my post office is so tiny. Oh, no. Nuh uh If they don't have the machine for a metered stamp, they will document the fact that it was sent out. So you will take the letter and you will take a photo. Now, here's the thing. The post office will tell you, you can't take a photo of the letter once you give it to us. Oh, no, you better go read your rules. The rules say that I can take a photo of anything that is a common area. This desk is a common area. So you better believe I can take a photo. Once you give it to us, it becomes our property. No, it doesn't become your property. It is never your property. I don't know where you got that from. This remains my property. That's why if you interfere with the passage of this mail, you can be held criminally liable. It's not your property. You are just a custodian. I'm the grantor of the agreement, honey. So you're going to do it my way. And you take a picture of the fact that you're sending the envelope. Don't let them play games with you. Follow a report against that agent. All right, don't call me. Don't email me telling me what they did. I don't want to hear it. Speak up for yourself. Learn the rules for yourself. Don't call me about that dumb stuff. That's not my problem. Do you understand the amount of weight 
that I put on myself by bringing such a suit against such an organization. So don't don't bother me with the dumb stuff, please. Now that's four hundred billion dollars per defendant, ladies and gentlemen. Four hundred billion dollars per defendant. That's the intent. Well, the, the complaint doesn't actually say four hundred billion dollars per defendant. Yeah, it uh, absolves some of them, but it's not the complaint where the four hundred billion dollars is coming from, people. It's your complaint where the $400 billion is coming from. You're using the lawsuit as proof that you have a claim against these idiots. By the way, you don't have to have a direct claim against some of the defendants because they're all in conspiracy and RICO violation. So that's how they are conglomerated and brought together. I just want you guys to understand, y'all ain't never seen nothing like this. I promise you, nobody else has ever done anything like this. And if you go after your writing it off on your taxes, if you go after doing your 1099Cs, if you go after that, ladies and gentlemen, you will help to eradicate that deficit associated with your name, with the national debt. That's what the 1099Cs are for. You will help to adjust your portion of the national debt and you know that you're liable for some portion of the national debt so why not write off the 400 billion dollars per defendant and do it right go back and look at irs tax topic 453 and follow the rules go back and look at irs rule code the internal revenue code 166 and follow the rules now that's just the lawsuit but hold on stop there the trust we're creating ladies and gentlemen let me show you something about the trust y'all don't mind do y'all because y'all ain't never seen nothing like this this is me talking with chat gpt we're talking about adverse possession of personal property let me go ahead and show y'all something so that y'all get it these are all cases talking about the fact that you can do adverse possession on your driver's license on your pay attention promissory note on your birth certificate because the birth certificate issued by the Department of Health becomes their property. It remains their property. You are in possession of a social security card. You are in possession of it. You can do adverse possession on personal property. I know, I know, I know. I've been saying it for years. Well, the micro trust and the mega trust will allow you to go to the so-called probate court, which is the bankruptcy court and gain control of your assets that's what it's created for remember it's the trust that puts you in control of all of your securities it will be done in a couple of days you guys are just gonna have to bear with me it's a lot of work i have to make sure t's and i's cross and dotted but each tr trust is 200 million dollars the bond and the bill of exchange incorporated into the trust are worth a hundred million dollars each for the micro trust and the mega trust but that's 200 pay attention because it's hard for some of you guys to get this 200 million dollars per respondent there are 16 respondents you don't get to add or take away from the amount of this respondents you are required to mail it to each respondent if you don't give them notice then they're not liable that's the mega micro trust. We will let you guys know soon enough about that. Do you understand? That's almost $64 billion that you get to write off. Remember, they are not government agencies. There is no immunity. They are corporations. That's why you're notifying them that you recognize that they're corporations. Ta-da! So like I said, It'll take me a couple of days, but my hope is to get it done by the 15th of this month and to have that program up and running. Look, let me let me see if I can explain it to some of y'all because some of y'all don't understand. What, I, what I'm trying to say is, y'all ain't never seen nothing like this.
Y'all ain't never seen nothing like this. It's a good thing there's a data company out there that would help you do the credit. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. Don't y'all understand? Ain't nothing by happen chance. Everything was a plan. All y'all gotta do is understand. Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna work out a special program with data mass. We're gonna go ahead and employ them to do your credits for the amounts of these two items. Okay? At the original cost for the original credits. Everything else, this is all they're doing. They're not doing everything else. All the other credits you have, they're not doing those. They're just doing these solely. You can always amend the filing and add in the other amount. Okay, but they will do these specifically. So long as you stick within the limits. So long as you stay according to the agreement that is put there. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to show you something. Um, no, I'm not going to show it to you. We have a trust company. We have a legitimately filed trust company. Well, actually, we have three. Filed in two different states and have been filed there for quite some time. We do trusts. We're not even going to talk about the SACOM and SICOM organizations, which are both of them trust organizations. Securities Acquisition Trust Commission and Securities Investment Trust Commission. We're not even going to tell you about the five organizations associated with them. We do trust. So when I tell you, wait, hold on, let me let me get my boy to talk to y'all. So when I tell y'all that y'all ain't never seen nothing like this, y'all need to trust me. Y'all ain't never seen nothing like this. Now, if there's anybody out there who's done anything like this, y'all ain't never seen it, and neither have they. Y'all need to pay attention. Y'all ain't never seen nothing like this. I said it. Tell them one more time. Okay? Ladies and gentlemen, I can only promise you y'all ain't never seen nothing like this. And if you have, then you've been seeing things because nobody has ever done anything like this. Help you write off $400 billion worth of credits. Wait, hold on now. Did I say 400 billion? No, no, no. Times every defendant. Y'all ain't never seen nothing like this. Give you, pay attention, a trust agreement. That is a mega trust that allows you to have complete control of your securities in line with the law. And nobody can challenge it because why? The law allows you to gain complete control of your securities and you're doing it through a trust. There is no law to prevent you from doing that because the law recognizes your right to do it. Y'all ain't never seen nothing like this. So when I tell you, and I'm going to be honest with you, that I served the true God Jehovah and that I didn't have any help with this. Now, I had some people who helped me with the documents. They helped me to reorganize them, but I didn't use their help. I took the documents and I reworded them completely. I had them help me, but I didn't use their assistance. I stuck with me and Jehovah. Why? That's why I can say y'all ain't never seen nothing like this. You see, this is what he's allowing me to do to help you. Now, can I, can I be honest with you guys for just a moment before I shut this video off? I'm going to let you know in 2001, I call it the choosing, March 9th, 2001, I asked Jehovah, I'm standing and I'm asking him to give every last one of you another chance, another opportunity. That was 23 years ago, ladies and gentlemen. Don't tell me everybody hasn't been given another opportunity, another chance. Look at this. You get to write off several 
trillion dollars worth of debt if you do it right and it's all legal Nobody can say that you don't have the right. Nobody can say that you're not part of the suit. Nobody can say that the suit is not a legitimately filed suit because this wasn't the original intent to let you write this off. But this is telling you if the court wants to throw it out, then fine, let them throw it out. I'm still going to appeal, but don't wait on my appeal. You go ahead and write off the debt. You go ahead and forgive the monetary portion of the debt. Let that be your intent but it's yours. The law says you get to do it. There is no law preventing it. And now guess what? Hold on. Before they can come up with a law, before they can come up with a provision, you're grandfathered in. And guess what? If you read the trust agreement, who doggy do you understand the special relationship trust that was created? So I'll say it again. Y'all ain't never seen nothing like this. Okay. I pat myself on the back, never. But I will give the credit to the one who gave me the understanding to do this in the first place. These are my crowning achievements, these two things right here. Look, I'm a guy who I told you should be brain dead. You sound brain dead! Your mama. Anyway, I'm a guy who should be brain dead. Because my doctors tried to kill me. I truly believe that. I believe it was intentional. I do not believe it was a mistake. I didn't have that belief at the beginning. But after years of thinking about it and seeing how nothing went right, they didn't even let me sue them, ladies and gentlemen, for their negligence. It was obvious that it was negligence. No attorney would pick up the case. I couldn't have done it myself back then. I did not have the mental wherewithal to do it because they fried my brain. And here I am now doing both of these things there's nobody on this planet who can explain this you have to go outside the planet he'll explain it to you because he's the one who I asked for help when I went through that experience I told many of you about it I asked him for his help I didn't ask the doctors for their help the doctors were the one telling me they couldn't explain it of course not but he could the God that I serve I tell you he calls himself Jehovah if you don't know who Jehovah is, it's okay. You don't need to know Jehovah in order to be a part of this. That's not a requirement, not a prerequisite. It's just I have a duty and a responsibility to let you know where I got help from, that it ain't all about me. So for those of you who think that I am so stuck on myself, you're completely out of your mind because he's the one who helped me. So, A, whether you believe in him or not, that's not the point. I would jump on this bandwagon because where else are you going to get legitimate tax credits? You guys have been trying to figure out where to get tax credits from. All of you have been trying to figure out if you've had a student loan, a car loan, a home loan. If you've ever applied for a loan and were turned down. If you've ever written a money order, a promissory note, a bill of exchange, a bond, then you can join this suit. You see, it's written because of the March 9, 1933 Act, otherwise known as the New Deal. That's a contract. That's a trust agreement, people. We're saying that they didn't hold up their obligations. When they took the gold, they did not provide you a way out. They took it, said it was being used for public use, and they did not provide you compensation. That's a violation of the Takings Clause. We're not asking a judge's opinion. We could care less about what the judge thinks. And I want to let you guys know that. This is not about the judge. This is about a jury. But we're asking for a common law jury. This is not a jury where individuals are voters and individuals, uh-uh. This ain't that type of jury. We said common law jury. The common law doesn't, doesn't permit and allow for the jury to be voters or have driver's licenses. Do you guys understand? Those are juristic persons. We're not looking for a statutory jury where everybody is a juristic person. We're looking for common common law where everybody is a natural person that's the difference now the court's going to disagree with us y'all know that but we're prepared for the disagreement we're prepared for going to a, the appeals court we've already anticipated what they're going to say that's why the document is over 50 pages long to include all of the defendants we made sure we 
more than covered everything. We put the model through ChatGPT so they can't say it's frivolous or it's nonsensical because the moment they do that, we get the language models because ChatGPT is a language model. We take three different language models and we put the lawsuit in them and have it explain it. If the language model that understands English can understand our complaint, then they can't throw it out because they claim they can't understand it. It's nonsensical and all of that other bolt that they normally do. Like I said, eight months of preparing this. Y'all ain't never seen nothing like this. Ever. So, we're about to go. Y'all have a good day. Y'all have a good day. We out of here.